On the previous episode of Coastlines, we fished the northern side of the island, then finished the day at the marina. Today is our final attempt at trying to catch a wahoo from shore. Our final episode is a two day adventure. We wanted to be prepared for our final day of kite fishing. So Preston and I went to our projected kite fishing spot and tried catching bait to put in the tide pools. The weather made it very difficult for us to catch bait. So we headed back to Riding Rock Resort. There we put up the kite and we hooked up. Got one. Ah. Ah. Oh, don't get out of the, out of the reef. Dude, it's the real deal, bro. It's the real deal. Josh, do you want to change your mic battery or do you want to run shotgun? I, I can't, I can't stop really. Okay, okay, run that roll out. I had him, bro. Yeah, it's a grouper. After that fish broke us off, it was way too dark to continue kite fishing. So we headed back to our room. There we started rigging for our final day of kite fishing. We're ready. We're, we, every reel is spooled up. We got 30 pound Berkeley fire line with 50 pound big game. And on top of that, we have a Bimini 2, an Alberta knot. We have 80 pound fluorocarbon, 25, 30 feet of that on each reel. Preston, are you ready, bro? I know, I, I know I'm ready. I'm a huge fan of the kite, but this this can well, this time. The, the thing with me is I didn't, I just didn't know. I mean, I, you, you, know you haven't done I it. I didn't do it, you know, so it's very foreign, but... Uh, if you see a Wahoo a sky on a live bait, is yeah, that going to get you going? I, I, 100%, you know, <laughs> I can't wait, man. All right, we're going to eat some dinner, Eric, make some chicken wings, and then tomorrow, guys, we are going to kite fish. Last day, this is the big thing. We're, we're going to be able to fish a spot we've been wanting to fish the whole time. This is the first time we've had the wind. We've got a northwest wind. Gonna start off. Hopefully, that that east wind goes a little more north. Yeah. And we'll be good to go, bro. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Let's eat. Cool. On the following day at sunrise, we drove to the south side of the island and started setting up our kites. Kite is now over the rocks. Look at look at it now. Gosh, it's banking good right here, bro. We're gonna have to put it in the sand over here. The wind direction was not working in our favor, so we had to move our kite reel from the beach to the rocks. To prevent the kite rod from falling over, we had to build a rock wall around the PVC pipe. We managed to get a bait out on the kite, but it was short-lived. Storms quickly surrounded us, and we had to pack up and leave. We tried kite fishing this morning. The wind was completely not in our favor, and if you look to my right over here, you can see that we got a massive storm headed our way. The storms are killing us, Preston. Yep. Killing us, dude. Can't kite fish in a storm. I mean, if you guys have ever heard of story of Benjamin Franklin with his kite, uh, with electricity, you do not fly kites with lightning. And that's a big, big no-no. We did catch some live bait. We got about, I think, five baits in the tide pool. We're gonna come back this afternoon if the wind switches and try one last hurrah. We have to get a COVID test before we go. And we have a dinner tonight at Riding Rock. So we're gonna do our best, bro. Do yeah. our best. Once the storms cleared, we headed back to the same spot and started kite fishing. This morning was a tough defeat, but we're back here again this afternoon. You can see the kite, it is going offshore. Everything looks a hundred times better. We got some live baits that we caught earlier. So we're gonna send one of those out right now. That's the drop right there, that blue thing right there, guys, that blue water, that's 150 feet right there. This is one of the closest places in the world where you can get water that, that deep, you know, especially here in the Western Hemisphere. So we're gonna send a bait over right now. Preston, you ready, buddy? Let's go. Yes. Can I see it? There it is. Put them up over, over here. Ready, go! After all the obstacles today, we got a bait in the blue water. I'm so pumped right now. 
It's looking good. The kite is further out than it ever has been. The wind is gonna keep turning a little more to the north, but we got enough now we're on the edge. The edge is only about, let's less than 500 feet away from, from these rocks, which is absolutely incredible. And that edge, when I, when I say that edge, that, that's 150 feet of water. That's where the Wahoo are. That's where all your pelagians are gonna be cruising that edge. You got a fish. Fish on. He just broke it off in the ledge, dude. Unreal. Gosh, dude, he ate it. The problem is there's so much line out, it's hard to know if you get a bite, but that was definitely a fish. Gosh, dude, that's so annoying. Just keep it tight because it will get snagged if the weight's still there, I think. Ready? All right, Eric, I need your help to kite just to, just to hold the, uh, the metal. Are you back in mono yet? No. Dang. He's shaped up like by 30 foot. No, there's a grouper. Oh, bro, these groupers are kicking our butts, man. There's, there's nothing, there's, I actually think there's a 1% chance of pulling one of those groupers out of there, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. so you know what, new thing, if the balloon disappears, start cranking as fast as possible. I need a team effort right now. I've got to stop filming for one sec, and we got to, I'll work here, get this kite out. Let me get the next bait rigged out, and then, and then once I get rigged up, I'll start reeling. But let's all my crank this thing as fast as possible. Absolutely dead, I know, dude. I know. We, we, we need our camera guys, dude. They're our big, strong camera guys that that have big, big muscles because they carry heavy cameras all day long. Dude, this is ridiculous. The big old Wahoo. Mr. Wahoo wants you. Just wants a little taste, that's all. Eric, I need your help with this. Make sure it's not tangled. Yeah. Go. He's got a fish. Preston, I might have to skip for you, bro, if we're gonna land this fish. All right, I'm gonna get the gas for us a pelagic bro. He's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. He's staying on top of the water. He's staying on top of the water. This is uh, this could be the Wahoo. This could be it. It's a big fish, bro. You can feel him. How's that reel working? This reel's awesome. Come on. He's coming toward me now. When do you want to be? Dude, this is the real deal, bro. Head shaking, running. I get more of an angle on him. Preston, I'm out to switch you, bro. Yeah. This is it, bro. That's what we've been here for. Ah. Watch that gap. Ah. Ah. Okay, ready? Yep. Real, real tight, real tight, real tight, real tight, real tight, real tight. Real, 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 real. It's the real deal, bro. It's got weight to it. You know what, guys? I'm exhausted. We've worked so hard. I do not want to lose this fish, and I also want to share with my buddy Preston. I don't care about it being my fish or his fish. It's just, I just want to get the fish in. It's cheap feeling, bro. He's been doing that the whole time. He's coming toward us. Feel weight? Oh, that rock is scary. Let's keep going to the beach over here, guys. Yeah, no, no, hold on. I just want to get tight. I want to get tight. I want to get tight. Yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. Oh, man. Woo! Oh. Hey, we hey, got him. We got him. Mono. We got mono. Mono. What do you want me to do? Just walk to the beach. Just, just, just keep reeling, keep reeling. Just keep, just keep, keep the line tight, keep the line tight. Keep the line tight, keep the line tight. Line tight, line tight, line tight. Right. He's right there. He's still there. He got eaten, bro. No oh, way. He got eaten. Look. No oh, way. He was so close. I was feeling that weight, I guess. I was feeling that weight. Dude, let's send one more out, bro. One more out, dude. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's hard to reel in, bro. We just reeled in, what, like 800 yards of line? <laughs> oh. 
Oh my gosh, guys. That was a good fish. I don't think that was a barracuda, bro. I think, that, I think that was something, a pelagia, bro. He's on the surface the whole time. It's a little Some, strange, bro. Something grabbed him, bro. Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's frustrating. Sun's gone. Wind's we got up. dinner at Riding Rock in about an hour. So we got to start bringing it in slowly. We're going to reel the kite in first, and then we'll reel in the bait. Hopefully, we get this last minute bite. That's what I'm hoping for. Otherwise, I'm going to have to wait at least a year to do this again. I want to come, data. I'm gonna miss this island so much, bro. It's cool, boys. It really is. Ten days on San Salvador. I'll tell you what. I'll never forget this trip, bro. This was. We didn't catch the monsters, and we we told you that this is this trip wasn't about catching this monster epic fish. This was about exploring a new fishery, exploring an island that we've been dreaming of our whole lives. This is a place that not a lot of people get to come to, and if you do have the opportunity, you've got to come here. It's. It's one of a kind. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. And yesterday we we, we believe we hooked a wahoo. We got eaten by a shark, unfortunately. The whole the whole trip, man. I mean, I have, my hat's off to you, really, because because this has been on your in your head for forever. You yeah. Always talked about it, and we made it happen. You invited me last minute. We made it work. It wasn't easy. No. It was and a lot of work. I, I bet you we walked 25 miles. I, I was about to say, I, the 25 miles we walked, and and think about this. So we we had covered in packs, all of our gear, and it wasn't sandy beach walking, it was, it was. We, we literally walked on coral that had never been walked on before in the history of this planet. Because when we were walking on it, it was, it was crunching underneath our feet. Yeah. It was. Thank, thankfully, we, we had, had the Crocs, Crocs man. on, man. I, I would not have been able to do it in flops, no, no way. way. No way, bro, no way. They, and you could see, like, like even, you saw me running full tilt with these, yeah. with these on, yeah. on those pointy, sharp rocks, dude. It, it's From in the water to up high elevation. These, these are the best fishing layer. shoes on the yeah, planet. I don't care what anyone says, bro. Great. The people we've met here on this trip is probably going to be lifetime relationships. Absolutely, yeah. Um, this is not my last time ever coming here. I'm definitely coming back as, as soon as I can, you know, and uh, I really wanted to come back here for the blue marlin in the spring. I mean, this place is legendary for first blue marlin fishery in the spring. It's really, really incredible. This is one of the greatest wahoo fisheries on the planet. Any day in, in the winter, you can come here and catch a 100-pound wahoo or bigger. This is, uh, we, we saw a 90 at the dock just, just walking by. You know, I think the next time we come here, we gotta, we gotta bring the boat. Yeah. You know, explore, we've explored the whole island. There's a few places we weren't able to get to, which is too far. The island's a lot bigger than we thought it was way bigger than we thought it was. Thank God we had, we had the rental car. But I think next time we come here, we explore the reef, explore everything around this yeah. island on the boat and just really learn that as well. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. It is a magical place. I mean, where in the world can you go where the fishing's amazing, the locals are amazing, and it's absolutely beautiful. You know, like there's nothing- in Bahamas. There's nothing wrong with San Sal. There's no. nothing wrong with it. No. Everything's great. You guys gotta check out San Sal. Go in the description right now. Make sure you guys go and check out Crocs. Make sure you guys check out Riding Rock. Check out Sands Resort. And make sure you guys go and check out all our Black Tip H merch at blacktiph.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. This was so much fun to film. Something I've been, like I said, you guys have been asking for land-based stuff and this is the year we're gonna do it. We're gonna keep doing more and more of this stuff. Let us know in the comments what you thought of this whole series. We really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.